students i am your komali ma'am in this session i am going to teach you six best reagents used in the organic conversions this topic is from alcohols phenols and ethers class 12 chemistry let's begin the session before going to the class i want to tell you few tricks these tricks will help you when you see the question from alcohols and phenols ethers chapter that you know conversion you will get that clarity okay uh, this is related to alcohols and primary alcohols okay let's begin let's begin and even secondary alcohols let's take trick is if you first i am going to take primary alcohol r ch 2 oh r ch 2 oh oh connected to the carbon that is linked to only one other group so primary this alcohol you do oxidation what do you mean by oxidation h h you remove removal of hydrogens is known as oxidation or addition of oxygen is known as oxidation removing two hydrogens i'll get aldehyde this aldehyde i'm going to do again oxidation i'll be getting carboxylic acid okay so what is the sequence oxidation series alcohols converts to aldehydes aldehydes converts to carboxylic acids this is the oxidation series now observe the question what they were asking they are asking alcohol to aldehyde na or they are asking alcohol directly to carboxylic acid na okay then what you have to do is what you have to do is there are some reagents which converts alcohol directly to carboxylic acids and they are some reagents which convert alcohols to aldehyde directly now what are these reagents and what are these reagents in today's session we will be seeing alcohol you want to convert into aldehyde so this is mild oxidizing agent is enough to do this suppose if you want to convert into al acid carboxylic acid you don't want to stop it here you want to directly bring from here to here you want you don't want to stop at this stage there is no this stage so directly you want to come from here to here then strong oxidizing agent we want strong oxidizing agent we want so that we can convert aldehydes directly into uh, alcohols directly into carboxylic acids so here is a list first reagent is first reagent is pyridinium chlorochromate second reagent is pyridinium dichromate in dichloromethane and third reagent is copper over 300 degree celsius you can use any one of these reagents for converting primary alcohols to aldehyde no ma'am i don't want to stop the reaction at aldehyde stage directly i want to convert alcohols to carboxylic acid direct step i want to do then strong oxidizing agents we need what are these strong oxidizing agents total three reagents i'll give you one is k2cr2o7 in acidic medium in acidic medium second reagent hot concentrated kmno4 in acidic or alkaline medium alkaline medium next third reagent that's it once you know this how easily you can do you know and another one is chromic acid chromic h2cro4 these three are strong k2cr2o7 in acidic medium hot concentrated kmno4 in acidic or alkaline medium and chromic acid h2cro4 these three reagents total how many reagents you have learnt here students tell me six reagents three are mild which stops the reaction at aldehyde stage and three are concentrated which converts directly alcohols into carboxylic acid now see the question number 1 oxidation of a primary alcohol to carboxylic acid name the reagents used in the following reactions here they they'll be asking you only one reagent 
primary alcohol you want to convert to carboxylic acid can you tell me which reagent you have to use you might see on arrow k2cr2o7 in acidic medium you might see on arrow kmno4 in acidic or alkaline medium you might see on arrow chromic acid any of these three one one textbook you refer you see one your teacher may say this another place you might see this when you write one online test you might see this then again confusion when you by heart like this one place one 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 again come but now you get the clarity any of this if you see then you can understand okay i can use any of this primary alcohol directly to carboxylic acid like it next see the next question oxidation of primary alcohols to aldehyde you want to stop the reaction at aldehyde stage for example take r ch to oh then you want to stop the reaction now you only will answer this question can you tell me which reagents we can use you can use pyridinium chlorochromate you can use pyridinium dichromate in dichloromethane solvent then you can use copper over 300 degree celsius so any of these reagents if you see anywhere one one place one you see also no confusion this is a mild oxidizing agents which stops the reaction at aldehyde stage next bro this next concept bromination of phenol to 2, 4, 6 phenol. this is see this is most important chart this tricks if you write in your notebook just apply in your weekend exam and you see this clarity the six reagents you will be seeing the entire chapter in the questions okay next see here bromination of phenol to 2 comma 4 comma 6 tri bromo phenol what is this phenol phenol means benzene ring with one oh group yes no this is phenol you want to convert this phenol into say this is the first position second position one br group we want to introduce fourth one two three four fourth position one br we want to introduce sixth position one br we want to introduce give the number one two three four five six this is this is sixth position okay then what is the reagent we have to use to do this conversion observe here students this is a phenol right this is the phenol 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 which is having benzene with oh this oh na it is a good electron releasing group erg group it releases the electrons once it releases the electrons this lone pair involves in the resonance with the benzene ring then this ring becomes rich in electrons rich in electrons electron density increases when it is rich in electrons electrophile electrophile is the species which is deficient in electrons electrophile wants the electron rich site so electrophile comes and attacks so electrophilic reactions takes place okay electrophilic substitution reactions takes place electrophilic substitution reactions like halogenation nitration sulfonation these type of reactions but here they're asking halogenation so i am going to do add br2 bromine but if you observe uh, two ortho positions are blocked and para position also blocked which means that we have to take polar solvent like water if you take polar solvent like water this hallucination takes place faster and both ortho positions and para positions were attacked by the bromine here electrophile is br plus this br plus comes and substitute that hydrogen and it comes and attack both ortho as well as a para it results in the formation of 2 comma 4 comma 6 tribromophenol tribromophenol for example we are doing we are doing electrophilic substitution reaction same electrophilic substitution reaction in presence of this polar solvent 
आई एम गोइंग टू टेक नॉन पोलार सॉल्वेंट लाइक कार्बन डाइसल्फाइड और कार्बन टेट्राक्लोराइड देन वॉट हैपन्स इज दट रिएक्शन हैलोजिनेशन इज नॉट दैट मच फास्टर हैलोजिनेशन बिकम स्लो एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ सब्सटीट्यूटिंग ऑल ऑर्थो एंड पारा पोजिशन वी विल बी गेटिंग अ प्रोडक्ट एट वन प्रोडक्ट एट पारा पोजिशन एंड वन बी आर एट पारा प्लस वन बी आर एट आर्थो पोजिशन वी विल बी गेटिंग टू प्रोडक्ट्स got it this is regarding bromination of phenol to 2 comma 4 comma 6 tribromophenol we want only we can take bromine over h2o clear got the clarity see the next one benzyl alcohol to benzoic acid what is a benzyl alcohol benzene ring with ch2o tell me you only answer this question we want benzoic acid so you want to convert that primary alcohol directly to carboxylic acid what is the reagent which will be used to convert primary alcohols to carboxylic acid directly mild oxidizing agents or strong oxidizing agents strong oxidizing agents so what are the three best strong oxidizing agents tell me start one is one is come on k2cr2o7 in acidic medium second hot concentrated kmno4 in acidic or alkaline medium next h2cro4 chromic acid any one of this any one of this we can take then see the next one dehydration of propane to vol to propene so here dehydration propane to vol right the structure of propane to vol students this is propane to vol then what you have to do remove oh and h and you should put ch3 ch double bond ch2 this is what propene propene and this is propane to vol what is it propane to vol now they were asking us dehydration what do you mean by dehydration remove oh from here h from here any one side this is oh and h if you remove we'll get a double bond here so what is what is the reagent which will be helpful is we have two best reagents one is concentrated h2so4 strong reducing agent and dehydrating agent and another one is h concentrated h3po4 concentrated h3po these two are the reagents which are helpful for doing this reaction let's see take primary alcohol that time we need concentrated h2so4 and we should heat around 443 kelvin temperature then this oh and next h goes out goes out one more carbonyl right r ch2 okay this oh and this h goes out it results in the formation of alkene like this but if we take secondary alcohol like this then we no need to take concentrated h2so4 and no need to heat at a higher temperature just h3po4 is enough and around 440 kelvin temperature is sufficient lesser temperature a bit is enough for doing this reaction for doing this reaction is a clear is a clear for example if if we take tertiary alcohols tertiary alcohols like this tertiary alcohol like this then h3po4 take this is around 85% is sufficient because secondary alcohols are faster than primary alcohols their reactivity so no need to take fully concentrated and here just 20% is enough and around 358 kelvin temperature is enough no need to have higher temperature and more concentration for tertiary alcohols tertiary one more alkyl group comes here then we'll be getting one oh and h goes out tertiary alcohol are here double bond ch2 is a product but in the question they were asking secondary alcohol to convert to propane so 85% of phosphoric acid is sufficient and temperature around 440 kelvin this gives us the best product 
क्लियर नेक्स्ट लास्ट क्वेश्चन ब्यूटेन टू ओल्ड टू ब्यूट ब्यूट ब्यूटेन टू वोन टू ब्यूटेन टू ओल्ड सो हियर सी एच थ्री सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ सी एच टू सी एच थ्री वॉट एम गोइंग टू डू इज ब्रेक दिस बॉन्ड पुट वन एच हियर वन एच हियर सो सी एच थ्री सी एच ओ एच सी एच टू सी एच थ्री वॉट इज दिस स्टूडेंट्स टेल मी हियर आई हैव ब्रोकन दिस बॉन्ड एंड आई जस्ट प्लेस वन हेच हियर वन हेच हियर सो दिस इज ब्यूटेन टू ओन दिस इज ब्यूटेन टू ओल द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू इज वी एडेड वन हेच हियर वन हेच हियर एडिंग टू हाइड्रोजन इज अ रिडक्शन दिस रिडक्शन की टोन्स कार्बोनिल कंपोन्स रिडक्शन इज वेरी इजी टू डू वट आर द बेस्ट रिएजेंट्स विच विच कैन डू रिडक्शन थ्री रिएजेंट्स आई एल टेल यू वन इज हाइड्रोजन ओवर अ केटलिस्ट can do this that catalyst can be like nickel platinum palladium can do this reaction next is lithium aluminum hydride can do this reaction followed by hydrolysis next is sodium borohydride followed by hydrolysis then if you see these three reagents what you can do children tell me break a bond carbonyl like this carbonyl group any of these three reagents break a bond put one h here one h here like this you will be getting your product that's it see not only six reagents in this video how many i have discussed with you three reagents here and about three different reagents here two reagents two reagents five and here uh, five and here bromination about this six seven and in this total six seven plus six around 13 reagents you have learnt in this video i'll come again with the next video like this if you want to learn entire oxidation series reduction series Uh, you know entire organic chemistry or physical or inorganic i am taking online classes too you can select me as your chemistry mentor in a specific timing either morning 6 to 7:30 or evening 7 to 8:30 specific timings without interrupting your school or college classes you can attend and you can learn from me or if you are not possible ma'am no i can't attend online classes then go through my channel i'll be coming every week and i'll upload best videos for you watch it and get good score in chemistry my name is komali i am your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching this video see you again in next video have a nice day